when the Seahawks host the 49ers on Sunday in the NFC Championship game, we know it's going to be yeah. loud, potentially earth shattering. There will be even be two seismometers inside the downtown stadium to measure potential fan-induced earthquakes. We've seen that. Love a seismometer. The twelfth <laughs> man has become the most feared fan in the NFL, and one Seahawks supporter can't have her dedication measured by volume. Her knowledge speaks louder than any cheer. Rick Riley paid a visit to Seattle and learned what real fan means. Seattle used to be famous for two things, coffee and computers. But these days, Seattle has become nirvana for something else. Football. So who's the most knowledgeable Seahawks fan? Is it this guy? Who's the punter? Uh, I don't know. Is it this woman? Who's the head coach? Who, how would I know? I'm a girl. Come on. What about her? Who's the quarterback? I don't know. What about him? Who's the long snapper? Who cares? <laughs> Maybe we need somebody more qualified. Perhaps ESPN's professor of football, John Clayton. He lives in Seattle. Who wears number 68? 68. You know, I think there's a person who knows that a little better than me. <laughs> Could it be that the most knowledgeable football fan in Seattle is barely bigger than the football itself? What's Marshawn Lynch's nickname? Beach Mode. Who's the kicker? Lewandowski. Who's the right tackle? <laughs> You've heard of the 12th man, right? But have you heard of the 12th toddler? Her name is Callie Buto. She's three years old, loves Mickey Mouse, and can name you most any player on the Seahawks roster. And their jersey number. And their position. Hey, Russell Wilson! <laughs> what number is he? Three! This all started as a nighttime tradition between Callie and her sheriff's deputy father before he went off to work the graveyard shift. Who's the special teams captain? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I thought, so let's see if she can memorize some Seahawks players. And it kind of turned into a bedtime ritual. What number is Percy Harvin? So instead of reading her Goldilocks, you're asking about Golden Tate. I am asking about Golden Tate. She loves Golden Tate. She made up a little cheer about Golden Tate. Actually, it doesn't stop with the Seahawks. Who are the bad guys? The <laughs> Do you like Drew Brees, the quarterback of the New Orleans Saints? No, he's bad guy too. Yeah, yucky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's not necessarily the girly girl I had imagined, but she's really cute in her Seahawks jersey and her little tutu. Like any little girl, she likes to play with dolls. What you reason and what and with your German? And yet, for all her expertise, Callie has never been to a Seahawks game or a Seahawks practice, but she needs to. She has questions, especially for quarterback Russell Wilson. She knows that he works really hard, so she's convinced that he has, like, really stinky feet, and she just really wants to ask him about it. So we took her. How you doing? Good. Do you have stinky feet? Do you have stinky feet? Sometimes I got stinky feet. <laughs> That's funny. Who are my receivers, you know? Golden Tate, Cindy, Plasty, Holy, Dead Bold, and Jamaica. Look at her. She knows the whole roster. <laughs> You're going to be a GM or owner one day, aren't you? Yeah. If that doesn't work, a coach's assistant? Hi, Kelly. Be careful. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Who's going to be our running back this week? Michael Wittens. Yeah. Do you know who's going to be his fullback? Yeah. Michael Robinson. Who are our linebackers? Bobby Wenger, Drew Dolan, yeah. and KJ Wright. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> no! Any idea what she might end up in life? She's going to work for ESPN. Right after ESPN comes, they're going to be like, oh, we'll, we'll just sign you to a futures contract. <laughs> Please don't have her take my job. Uh, I can't make any promises. Uh, this story just stopped being so cute. Pretty soon, though, Callie might have some competition of her own. Her younger brother eats this stuff up. But for now, a little kid 
remains the biggest fan. <laughs> Rick Riley reporting. That how, was incredible. How cute is she? Uh, well, Callie, you know, she knows that the Seahawks opponents, especially the 49ers, as we'll mm -hmm. see this weekend, the bad guys, her dad trying to teach her that besides Russell Wilson, there's actually one other quarterback in the league who is a good guy. Yeah, that would, be, that would be Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning. We'll see if Manning's still a, uh, a good guy in that household if, if both teams make it to the Super Bowl. You know who is a good guy?